Hey guys, Guan Yu here once again with another World of Tanks tutorial slash demonstration for you. This is following straight on from the second one. And this one's all going to be about uh, your modules, your equipment, your ammo, uh, your consumables, your service and your exterior there. So, let's get to it. Uh, I'm in a premium tank so I'll jump into another one. Let's go for... I'll pick my T29 right there. Right, so your modules, pretty explanatory. Looks like a gun, it is a gun. Looks like a turret, it's your turret, engine, tracks and your radio. Uh, when you first buy the tank, I'll show you on a tech tree. I'll show you on the Sherman that I just researched in the last one. You'll get your basic, it all comes with this first line here. So it comes with your basic gun, your basic turret, things like that. And then you research the rest and you put them on and you pimp your tank out. Uh, I only just bought uh, research at you in the last one. So as you can see, I've already got a couple of guns open and a couple of radios. That is because in the tech tree itself, that's a level five. As you can see, I'm already up to level eight on a few others. So some tanks use the same guns, same radios, things like that. So if you research it for one tank, uh, it unlocks it as well for the second tank so you don't have to waste your research buying the same thing twice so that's that I mean I don't own the tank yet so I'm not going to put one on but if I go back to it all you do is you click on it, it tells you that I would have started with the uh, 76mm on this but I've already upgraded it a couple of times and I've currently got the top one on it and there you go same with the uh, turret same with the engine it's pretty much pimped out this thing so that's enough for them self-explanatory these a uh, bit more confusing I suppose you gotta work things out if you want to get the best out of your tank these are your equipment you will click on them depending on your tank I mean it's a heavy tier 7 so this gets a lot of equipment if you just have a little browse it tells you exactly what they do on them all so that one's there 10% aiming so at the moment I've got uh, vertical stabilizer on I've got improve vent class on and I've got the gun rammer on I tend to keep the same equipment on the same style of tanks so on the heavies obviously like I say I've got the stabilizer the vent class and the rammer if I click on my other heavy tank there you go I've got the vent class the stabilizer the rammer click on the next one uh, I've got I've had to put the aiming speed on that because it's a T30 the aiming speed is pretty Hauling. so that's on all my heavy tanks I'll show you a bit more if I click on all my heavy tanks there click on my low low's got the same thing uh, click on my E100 that's all got the same thing so I prefer to use these because uh, with heavy tanks I I don't tend to stay still so I don't put any camouflage net on I don't put the toolbox on I find them a waste of time and a waste of money most of them uh, sticking things like this on it increases your things like your reloading time your aiming time so obviously you want to reload quicker so you can get shots off quicker and kill the other tank quicker everything wants to be done quicker uh, if I go to my tank destroyers this is a bit different especially for the uh, equipment I'll click on one I'll click on my little marder there because it's a camping tank you tend to need a bit more camouflage so I've gone for the camouflage net as you can see you don't get very many uh, pieces of equipment for lower tiers it's only a tier 4 so because it's camping tank I've got some camouflage net on that provides uh, a nice bit of camouflage 25% as long as I remain still uh, I've got my bins on by binoculars if you want to call them by the full name uh, that lets me see further so again uh, when you're stationary obviously what I see further so you can shoot tanks from further away and kill them further away uh, but I also want slightly faster loading I would normally put uh, my vent class on but some tanks can't have it like this one can't have it uh, I don't need my aiming time because by the time the guns loaded it's already aimed in so I'll stick a bit of extra uh, loading time in there if I click on a couple of others as you can see they all tend to be the same 
all the way across I keep the same thing on all of them uh, that way because I play the same with all the tanks they all roughly work the same and I can get the best out of my gaming if I go on my light tanks these are slightly different so as you might have saw on my uh, mini mouse there I do have my vent class uh, coated optics allows me to see a bit further and my aiming speed that's because I like to shoot on the move so uh, when I stop it takes a few milliseconds less to aim in you know milliseconds can be the decision between life and death so that's a little rundown of them uh, I will go into more in depth about the mechanics of it you know what's best to get on higher tiers because you can only have a certain amount of camouflage on a tank and you can only have a certain amount of view range on a tank uh, the view max view range is about 500 so you know you do a bit of math and work that out but I'll work that out for you probably on my last video so if you want to see that just skip to the last one it will be on there it might be a long one because there's a lot to a lot to cover and a lot of things to learn so anyway next one is your ammos uh, your standard rounds which is what I was using in a few of them but you might have seen me stick uh, my premium shells in now for premium shells they do cost a lot more but they do a lot more penetration still the same amount of damage as your normal rounds but they do a lot more penetration so you know if you're against a higher tier stick a couple of them in and you'll soon back off HE rounds I very rarely use them uh, explode on impact uh, you'll get damage but not as much damage as you would get with your armor piercing rounds obviously for armor piercing rounds you have to penetrate the tank to do the damage otherwise you'll just get ricochets you won't get a ricochet off HE rounds they will do damage on pretty much every shot but it won't be, it'll probably be about half of what your standard rounds do uh, again you've got your consumables now with my consumables on every single tank from uh, my light tanks to my medium tanks heavy tanks tank destroyers I always buy the same three and I always keep them in the same slots so in my fourth button that you would press to activate it I have a small repair kit five is my first aid kit and six is my fire extinguisher I'll go through a few of them as you can see same in every slot that's because when you're in the heat of battle uh, you don't want to be fumbling around trying to find what button to press you need to know what button to press and you need to press them quickly especially if you set on fire I mean you can have an automatic fire extinguisher but they do cost a lot more I mean because I keep it in the same slot I mean I can re put out the fire in less than half a second if any of my videos show you I will uh, I will put it out and I can repair things pretty quickly if I go on service record for you this is what you need to click on for all your ammo sorry your ammo is up there and your consumables what tank am I on here no I don't want that I will go uh, there you go I'll go on my mini mouse for you so there you go it gives you your list of three ammos and your consumables you can use standard ammo that's where you buy it you know you can put less normal ammo in it only costs 14 per shot so you know they are pretty cheap in smaller tiers and the premium arrows do cost quite a bit you know that's uh, you know substantially higher 800 per shot so if I up that a little bit that will show you what it will cost me just for how many have I just put in there six rounds so it will cost me 4,800 uh, 4, credits just to buy the six rounds but I'm not going to buy them because I tend to keep the same amount in I have 70 in this I always take premium ammo with me and I always use it you know it's in the game you might as well use it people will bitch and moan at you quite a lot for use it but called you a gold noob and things like that but hey you know you use premium rounds you'll destroy them they'll bitch and moan for about five minutes and they'll go back to the garage lick the wounds and be pissed off so you know you might as well use them especially if you've got 14 million credits like I have and piss as many people off as you can it's always fun to hear and moan get yourself a nice few kills as well uh, 
very rarely use the exploding rounds especially considering you use armor piercing get more damage as long as uh, as long as they pierce and go through damage a few things inside the tank things like that anyway auto resupply you might as well tick it saves you going in and out with putting ammo back in here and there auto re repair uh, always take that automatically repairs your tank for you obviously it does cost every time you're doing but you do need them because you can't go into a battle with a damaged tank and you can go into a battle with no ammo I've done it before completely by accident and basically you try and kamikaze something you can't really do anything other than spot but you don't want to do that you want to shoot people consumables like I told you before I use the same three and everything but you can have a lot more I always resupply as you can see in my depot I use them a hell of a lot so I buy a lot of them but I'm a bit of a cheapskate even though I've got 14 million I only ever buy them when they're half price so I tend to stock up I buy about a thousand at a time and then just play for a couple of months till the next special comes on where the half price uh, if I click on it this is German tank so if I click on it everything I can use for Germans is there you know you can have a larger repair kit instead of a small repair kit so the small repair kit you can only repair one module it says all two damaged tracks but that's if both tracks are damaged at the same time it will repair them both for you uh, you can only repair one module and then it will get used you can't use it again for the game large repair kit it will repair all your modules but only once and not individually so for a large repair kit you'll want to have about four modules knocked out and then you just click large repair kit and it'll repair them all but again once it's used it's used if another module gets damaged in that game it can't be used same with the first aid kit that I've got on which is there only repair one crew member at a time uh, if you have multiple ones knocked out in one hit you know use a large repair kit you can uh, repair them both or three or however many have been knocked out all at the same time uh, you have chocolate for the Germans this is uh, this increases your as it says there crew skills and perks uh, very beneficial I don't have it on tanks for say because I prefer to have the fire extinguisher there the only thing I use the other consumables on like the chocolate and the case of cola for the Americans the pudding and tea for the British are the artillery as you can see there the French have strong coffee oh, 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 some coffee uh, but I do keep the repair kit and the uh, first aid on as well but I do stick the coffee on I mean there's plenty more you can have if you go into depot click your consumables make sure you're on all nations and they're all in there your strong coffees things like that that's for my vehicles is missing a few off there where's that uh, there's only one you can have for the Russians it's not on there never mind must be thinking of something else but yeah you can go in there as you can see the chocolate does cost a lot 10,000 uh, I've only got three left uh, I've never actually bought any all these have been what I've won uh, just from playing a few little missions during whenever they're on the only ones I do buy are the three at the top there that's why I've got so many of them but that's where your consumables are and a quick breakdown of your service there strong coffee obviously 20 grand there for one of them that is a bit of a rip off I have quite a few of them because I've only got one French artillery uh, go to exterior go back to all my tanks I'll jump in a, uh, a little French one there well big French one exterior this is where you go for your camouflage or painting your tank uh, you can paint it permanently for gold that's another benefit of uh, purchasing some gold you can have it permanently for your tank instead of uh, paying for 30 days which costs credits or seven days which costs even less credits uh, you have three different ones ones for obviously a winter map so if you're in the snow you'll get a winter camouflage if you're in a summer map you know you can choose a summer camouflage and then that one will come on if you're in the desert you'll get a desert camouflage so I will put these on the French tank for you but I'm not going to pay gold because I'm going to sell this once I've uh, finished with it so I'll stick the winter one on 
uh, I'll paint it in a nice striped colour there you go so it comes up at the bottom so far it's going to cost me 20,000 I'll stick a summer one on as well let's get a fancy one on there you go look at that nice little uh, green tank for you and then there's a summer one as well I'll stick a nice orange one on nice autumnal colour so there you go 20,000 for each it'll cost me 60,000 there I accept uh, do you want to apply camouflage yes and there you go I've got camouflage on my tank for the next seven days so if I'm constantly going to be using that tank you might as well put it on camouflage does have a benefit it gives you about five percent camouflage for your tank while moving as long as stationary so it may not seem like a lot but it all adds up especially if you've got your camouflage net on and your crew skills which I'll go through at some point they can uh, all add to your camouflage effect go back on exterior uh, that's French I won't understand most of the French ones so let's find a, a British tank where are my British ones I'll paint one of these again for you let's go for me Centurion jumping that I'll go to exterior I'll show you once more I'm not paying for gold because I intend on selling it will go winter go nice little window no, go all white there you go go on summer get a nice little summer one desert let's let a nice blue one there and apply except you want to put it on yes there you go also in here you can have emblem and emblems to put on your tank you know you can put anything you want on let's stick a uh, stick a bull on there you go replaces the bull uh, I could apply that it could be animals military you know stick a crown on miscellaneous stick a bomb on you know there's quite a few in there flags and coats of arms you know if you know what your coat of arm is or you can stick your own country on I'm from England so let's stick here oh, that's not English that's a Georgian one so okay let's stick an animal on let's find a pigeon we got a pigeon there you go I'll stick a kiwi on it's basically a flightless pigeon uh, no let's have a dinosaur there you go little raptor uh, so yeah you can apply that for permanently obviously for gold but I'm not going to we'll go with uh, seven days I'll stick that on I'll stick an inscription on put this on because if you're in a French tank you know they come up in French I'm English I don't understand French don't understand any language other than English because you know I'm English uh, stick whatever you want on Steel Warrior, Thunderbolt, Dreadnought, Dogs of War Bull Pump you know Mano's War, Agility, Golden, God Save the Queen, there you go, let's have that, I'm English, where did that just go? Ba, 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 ba. No, can't find it, I've gone past it, let's go for For the King, as always, you stick that on, I'll go with that, it should appear somewhere, where is it, there it is, you can see it right there, you know, you only, any, somebody's only going to see that if they park right up next to you, it's mainly for your benefit and don't really put them on by the looks of it I could put one on the side you know you could put one on tops and bottoms historical inscription too stick one on the side let's have uh, stick daredevil right there on the side again I'm not having it for that I'll stick it on that so there you go for the inscriptions I'll accept it one will remain the other can be applied later yeah whatever I'm going to stick them on it's only going to cost me a bit of a what's the face which one stayed on god for the king stayed on and daredevil stayed on I don't know what he was whinging about before anyway that thing there is my clan tag you know if you're in a clan you'll get yourself one of them anyway so there you go a uh, quick rundown of them I might have waffled on a little bit for too long for you hopefully you didn't get too bored uh, I'll go in another tank for you let's have uh, this is my third tutorial so I'll go on a tier 3 main tier 3's I've got on my uh, Russian ones LTP should we have it no let's go in my T127 this is probably the only tier 3 I bought I'll jump straight into battle and waffle on about it for a little bit uh, I was pretty anal when I came to buying this I sat there for about an hour and looked at all the stats for all the tier 3 premiums and the T127 seems to come on top with firepower and armor so that's why I bought that one I just fancied buying myself a tier 3 but over the years I've um, 
for our missions a couple of other tier three so i didn't really need to buy it but i've got it not used it in a while so we'll give it a good rundown hopefully i'm actually going to get more than two kills better put me in a tier three game i would like to get at least a top gun to get a top gun you need to kill six or more but we'll see how it goes this might be taking too long normally they don't take this long you know we're almost up to a minute of waiting time here i'm actually getting a bit bored and impatient already and i fed up of waffling on filling up the silence so you know what i'm getting a bit parched i'll have a drink of tea there you go that's uh, sorted that out uh, this is tier 3 game quality I don't need to put any premium ammo in for this, this tank's pretty decent, you might have saw this map before. Can't remember, I might have got rid of the video because I did really poor in it. But as a rundown here, everything on the other side will get spotted, everything on my side will get spotted, so you do not want to hang around on this hill. You want to charge forward and hide behind one of the wreckages down there. Uh, I'm on the left, so technically I should go to the left, but I'm not. I'm going to be a swine, I'm going to cut everybody up and dive to the right, because that's normally where I fight. So, I might as well go over there and see what I can get my hands on and see if I can pick off a couple of tier 2's that like BT7 is pretty quick so I'll go in behind him and go dive over there look they're firing randomly it's not very quick but it does have armour and a good gun so as I dash through here I am going to fire blindly at something that's popping through here total miss you know there you go that's uh, how not to do it got this little Stuart here I'm going to have to zoom in for him God, I can't even get onto his turret. Come on, what's ramming me? I was wondering why I was wobbling, you damn budgie. I hope you die for that. I've got a good mind to kill you myself, but I'm not going to. Yeah, by ramming me or nudging into me. Oh, 127 against the 127. I'm going to put the premium ammo in as quick as I can. This way I'll get the benefit of uh, shooting him in the face. Got a track, he ain't going anywhere. Shoot his lower plate, he's gonna die. Take that. Oh, swine, that little L. Uh, T2 light tank got him. I don't think that pans at all. There you go. 38H right up at the top. Got my premium ammo in, give him a dig. Give him another dig. There you go, finished him off. That's what you get for trying to camp up top. So there's a the Panda 2C. He ain't gonna do any damage to me in that flak. Uh, with that flat gun so I will carry on with my armour piercing rounds run here oh I wanted to shoot him in the back you know it's always good to shoot somebody in the back let's get this dude he only will do damage to me from close range and to the side so something else is now shooting me so I'll turn quickly missed him I did get myself a little uh, he's got slapped as well Oh, I've only got one kill again, but anyway, at least you got to see the little 127 in action. Decent armour, like I say, it took quite a few hits, a lot of them ricocheted. There you go, game over. What did that take? Three minutes? So, yeah, low tiers, especially if you're aggressive, can go pretty quickly. So there you go, hope I didn't bore you too much or waffle on about things, as you can see. Times two experience, 1,100, even though didn't get much. I got a medal, cool-headed. That's because that stupid flat cannon tried to shoot me in the front of my armour. He ain't going to do anything. He needs to learn his lesson there. Uh, and a couple of other medals. Oh, you know, I've been through all that before. But there you go. As you saw, during that game, I did use uh, my repair kit. I used it pretty quickly. Not as quick as I normally do, so if you missed it, you know, rewind have a little look and you'll see I just quickly press the buttons I know what what's to repair and what's not to pair uh, what buttons to press to repair especially for tracks you saw it you know they're the main things that get damaged and you need to repair so anyway that's the uh, modules one done I've been Guan Yu uh, the next one will probably be all about garage slots elite status nationality premium tanks and things like that so if you want to see that jump to the next one uh, once again, I've been Guan Yu. Thanks for watching. Take care.